And let's just sort of, what, metamorphosize. That was actually last week because we talked about doing a, oh, yeah. a Waldo's and you're like, well, we should do that actually on 420. That's when we'll be podcasting. And then we talked a little bit more and said, oh, we should see if we can find something else. Unfortunately, you did find something else because I, I had not found anything else. Yeah, we looked for the Stone and Joy Buy because they had one that was 420. We haven't had anything from Stone Brewing in a while, so we were kind of hoping to try that. But might be even better. Something, uh, a completely new brewery has fallen into our lap. And that's what we've got for this. Give it a shot. I'm Andrew. <laughs> and I'm Keith. And we are aboutbeverages.com. And the beverage that we are about today is... Hold on. The picture is going to take a second because it doesn't work. There we go. The Bull Resin <laughs> Pale Ale, and this is from Walter Station Brewing. It is a, uh, is this a, a Danky? That's what they say. It is a, a danky very pale Danky ale. Pale Ale, which we've also talked about lately that pale ales have not been like our biggest, most exciting thing, because we're kind of like, eh, it's just at this point, we just kind of skip over to the IPA, because they yeah. either blend together so, so much, or we're kind of like, I just would like a little bit more. Yeah. Like, I, I don't usually, but... With the way they talk about this, they say that there are actually going to be either aromas or flavors of bowl resin in here. Of okay. Like, so we're going to find out here. We're going to go grab it out of the fridge. <laughs> Derived with a healthy dose of special hops and roasted smokiness from uh, select American grains. Our salute to our favorite holiday. And as always, better with friends. So pass it along. So Pass it on. Yeah. We're going to drink out of the same glass. I could I could go get the smoke. Do you want me to smoke the? <laughs> I could smoke the. <laughs> we could do that. In the smoke like, the bowl resin. Yeah, <laughs> that would be funny. That would be kind of fun. <laughs> We're really embracing the whole thing. We are We're embracing uh, way uh, too much. Our first uh, beer from this brewery. Uh, like I said, I probably would have bought this anyway, but when I also saw it was from Phoenix, uh, so somewhat local to us, I was also fairly excited. Um, it also made me think of we talked about last week. Uh, New Belgium Brewing used to do the Hemperer, yeah. uh, which actually was brewed with hemp. Let me pass that around to you. Yeah, uh, thanks for passing that on. And uh, oh, can't wait to take a hit of this. Yeah, <laughs> there you go. I think you poured it way too much more. You want to switch that one then? Sure. Okay. That was all that was left. That's all right. Um, and that one was like, again, gimmicky, but it was actually really good. Like I bought multiple six packs oh, of yeah. that. It is no longer in production. So maybe this will fill that gap a little bit. I'm hoping. Could be. Uh, I would definitely buy more of this. I don't know if this is seasonal. Again, if you know any of this information, if you like this brewery, if you're from this brewery. Oh, yeah. You saw please us, you, that we tweeted it out. And you comment like, hey, down below. Yeah. Talk to us. Let us know. Um, that's a clear copper. That is a very clear copper color with a. I could probably float a bottle cap on that head. Remember on we used to one, do yeah. We used to talk about that. <laughs> yep. Definitely malty, and there's resinous, which kind of blends into it does have like, yeah, a little CD, bit of resiny. Yeah, it's not quite as strong, like I said, as the one we were just kind of referencing. That one Absolutely. was literally like we joked about, like it smelled like a rock concert. Like you barely got yeah. it even near your nose, and you're oh, like, yeah. oh my you God. You could be in the yeah. room with that one. But this is definitely in the, in the vicinity. This is like I just left the concert, and I gave my friend a hug as we're kind of separating. It's like, <laughs> oh, I, I smell a little something else yeah. still kind of hanging around there yeah. a little bit. But nice aroma, though. I like it. It's a good start. Yeah. To the taste. Yep. Really drying me out. It is a little bit like I said, yeah, very, very resinous. Yeah. I will say this. If uh, bong water actually tasted like this, I probably would drink it. Drink the bong water. But I don't think it actually does. But <laughs> this is pretty good. I wish it had a little bit more of a floral component to it. Um, the maltiness is nice. The resinous yeah. is, is nice. I, I like those notes that are in there. I wish it just had just a little bit more of some other things. But definitely makes me want to try other stuff from them because this is, this is good. Because I, I think this is... a a tricky style to take on yeah. um, because I would think this could go very badly. Um, but yeah, it, it is drying me out, but I do like the flavors. I agree with you. Yeah. There could be a little bit, maybe a little bit more hop or something in there, but overall, um, yeah, it's good. Yeah. I look forward to trying some other things uh, from them in the future. So yeah. And it, this is one of those times too. Like w whenever you go into a store, especially when we were trying something like this for the very first time, I'm checking dates. Like I said, this was only yep. like a month uh, past their canned on date, which made me feel very excited, very happy about that. So I was glad that uh, Total Wine did have it that way. Right. But always when you go into any store, no matter what it is, uh, like I said, unless you've got a local bottle shop that's probably keeping much better track of it than your big box store, always look at the dates on there because a lot of times your first impression you want it to be the best one when it's a new brewery and like i said for me this one this one is definitely no, it's a, a positive one check them out check them out uh and if you want to see any of the other beers that we have had over gosh has it been it's been over a decade well it's over been coming a decade. up on a decade and a half it's a, well 2000 
I think we're in our 15th year. Is that what we say? I like it. There we Is go. It, we are in our 15th year. 2009, right? Uh, yeah. So. If you want to see anything and everything that we have ever done, go to aboutbeverages.com. Uh, you can uh, check out, like I said, not only videos, but just the audio early podcasts that we did. Uh recipes, uh, articles, all kinds of stuff. Uh, it is all can be found there. If you only want the latest videos, that is totally awesome. Subscribe on YouTube. We greatly appreciate your support there. Uh, and if you only want audio, we've got you covered. Uh, you can head to uh, iTunes, uh, Spotify, Google Podcast. If you have a favorite podcasting app to search for about beverages, you will probably find us there. And uh, while you're doing that search, usually some other things will come up too, right? The uh, the social media pillars, as we call them, the three for us, uh, which are TikTok, Instagram, and Twitter, which is we what we use most often to keep you up to date with what is going on here at About Beverages. Uh, like earlier this evening when I tweeted that we were about to go live on twitch.tv slash aboutbeverages, which we do most Thursday evenings around 5.30 Pacific time. When we get together, try beverages of all kinds. A beer, perhaps? Uh, maybe a beer. Uh, uh, hang out and just have some fun talking, chatting, whatever happens to come up, babe, sports, movies, whatever. And of course, beverages. Also throughout the week, Andrew's going to keep you up to date on what he is doing in the gaming world and what beverage he will have at his side in his hand while he is uh, playing those games. So for all the latest said about beverages, follow us on Twitter. But as we always say, whether we like it or not, you should give it a 420 shot. 